أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everyone my name is Imran Datu and I am honored to be invited once again by Noor Al Asr and the Club 313 for this absolutely amazing initiative for raising funds uh, for this amazing amazing cause where uh, we get the opportunity to re read a story um, for you all so please do dig deep and uh, donate generously for this absolutely phenomenal cause um, so today, today I will be reading a book um, which is very close to my daughter's heart actually, she like, quite likes it and it's called Where is my Imam? Uh, and it's all about Imam al-Mahdi It's a very exciting book, very, uh, it's very well written by Sister Shalina Karmali and is illustrated by Sister Sakina Panju so without further ado, I'll get into the book. So if you if you haven't got the book, definitely get it. There's quite a lot of um, uh, Quran, ayat, and hadith um, in relation to our twelfth Imam, which is uh, we're very very informative. So I'll show you the picture first, so you can have a look. And it says that one sunny Sunday afternoon, Maysam and Sumeya arrive home from their weekend Islamic school. Assalamu alaikum, children. How was Madrasa today? Mum asks. Wa alaikum salam, mummy, both children answer. Sister Khadija taught us about the twelfth Imam. His name is Imam Mahdi, Ajalallahu Ta'ala Farajuhu Sharif, Sumayya says. That's wonderful. Did you know that Imam Mahdi is the Imam of our time? says Mum. You mean he's alive right now? asks Maysam. That's right, Mum says. Now come and eat your lunch before it gets cold. Now we can see. What's Maysam and Sumeya doing? They're at the park. Let's have a look. Later that day, Maysam and Sumeya go outside to play hide and seek. Come on, Maysam, where are you? says Sumeya. Sumeya looks up towards the sky and notices several soft and fluffy clouds gracefully floating in front of the sun. The sun is playing hide and seek too, thinks Sumeya. Boo! yells a familiar voice. Sumaya spins around and finds that her brother has found her instead. Where were you? asks Sumaya. In the best hiding spot ever, declares Mason with a huge grin on his face as he points towards the slide. At the end of the game, Sumaya asks, Mason, where is our imam? We have to know where he is so that we can follow him. Mason looks around the backyard and thinks about his younger sister's question. Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know where he is. Let's go find him. See, you can have a look. They're looking everywhere. Right. Both of them start walking together in search of the 12th Imam. They look behind the trees and under park benches. Look, there's Ahmed and Anissa. Let's ask them if they know where our Imam is, suggests Maytham. Assalamu alaikum, Maytham and Sumayya, Ahmed says. Where are you going? Wa alaikum salam, Maytham and Sumayya, answer. We're trying to find the Imam of our time, but we can't find him anywhere, says Maytham. Ahmed and Anissa also do not know where the Imam is, so they join Maytham and Sumayya in the search. There's the picture. So you can see they're still looking, they're still looking. As the children continue looking for Imam Mahdi, Ajalallahu Ta'ala Faraj Sharif, they pass more trees, houses and stores, but they still cannot find their Imam. However, they do notice two more friends, Ammar and Amira. After greeting each other, Sumaya asks, Do you know where the twelfth Imam is? We want to find him so that he can guide us on the right path. Amira pauses for a moment and taps her chin thoughtfully. We have never looked for him before, but he must be around somewhere, helping people out. There's a picture. They're in front of the masjid. The large group of children keep searching for their imam. Along the way, they came across the mosque. Why don't we look for the twelfth imam in the mosque? The mosque is like the house of Allah. And he is an Imam of Allah, so he might be there, suggests Maytham. And they all go inside the mosque, as you can see. 
The children enter the mosque just as the teachers from Madrasa are leaving. Sumaya sees her teacher, Sister Khadija, come out and calls her name. Sister Khadija, Salaam Alaikum again. We need your help. Wa Alaikum Salaam, Sister Khadija answers. What are all of you children doing here long after Madrasa has finished? Well, during Madrasa, you said that Imam Mahdi is our Imam, our leader. We're trying to look for him so that we can follow him, explains Maytham, but we can't find him anywhere. There's a picture of Sister Khadija talking to the children. Ooh, says Sister Khadija, seeing where all the confusion is coming from. Let me explain. Imam Mahdi is our leader, but he is in Ghaybat right now. He is living in this world, but Allah has made it so that we are not able to recognize him. Imam Mahdi was only five years old when he became the Imam of our time. His life was in danger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept the identity of the Imam hidden to protect him from any enemies and to make sure that he is always here to guide us. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides the time is right, then our Imam will reappear and bring peace all over the world. But even now, Allah lets the Imam visit people in need if they call on him, explains Sister Khadija. Sumaya smiles. That's just like when we were playing hide and seek before, Maysam. You hid under the slide and I couldn't find you for a while. Even though I didn't see you, you were still there and could see me. That's right. Then I jumped out and surprised you, remembers Maysam. And there's a the picture. The children are with Sister Khadija outside. Well, why does the Imam have to stay in Ghaybat for such a long time, wonders Ammar. Sister Khadija explains, Allah will send the 12th Imam when there are enough faithful Muslims to help him. In the meantime, we must get to know our Imam better and increase our love for him. What should we do while we're waiting for Imam Mahdi Ta'ala Farajah Sharif? Questions Maysam. We should offer our salams to him every day, give sadaqah for his safety, volunteer in the community and help people in need. And learn more about Islam and stay away from sins, replies Sister Khadija. Oh, look at that. It's a picture of the Khanai Kaaba, which is the house of Allah. How will we know when Imam Mahdi reappears, asks Ahmed. Allah will make his arrival known to the whole world. At that time, there will be a heavenly voice announcing that the Imam has reappeared. And if we are among the best of believers... Then when we answer the call, we will all of a sudden be taken to Mecca to be with the Imam, describes Sister Khadija. Wow! exclaimed the children. There's a picture of the children under the rainbow with Sister Khadija. So we don't need to look for him anywhere. Allah will send him when the time is right. Thank you for explaining that to us, Sister Khadija, says Sumaya. Can you tell us more stories about the 12th Imam? asks Anissa. Sure, next week at Madrasa, answers Sister Khadija. But for now, let us recite the dua for the protection and safety of Imam Mahdi, ajalallahu ta'ala, farajahu sharif. So let's all recite that together. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahumma kulli waliyika al hujjat ibn al hasan. صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك توعا وتمتئه فيها طويلا Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Thank you so much for listening to my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something about our 12th Imam. And remember, if you want to get the book, it's, it's a very nice book. It's got the dua at the end as well, which you can all recite together. Thank you so much for listening. And once again, thank you to Nur al-Asr and Club 313 for giving me this amazing and humbling opportunity. And we pray that enough funds are raised for this amazing, amazing cause. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.